Let's take a look at the technology and work approach of Pitscom. Pitscom is based on its own repository, which in turn is built upon an Oracle database. The complete forms applications are uploaded into this repository. Using an API layer, the programs and all the information are dissolved into smaller components. The parser dismantles the objects into the smallest granulated elements of variables and parameters without losing track of reference information and dependencies. What follows is an organized deposit of all information in the PITSCON owned data model, which in turn yields a database that transcends the scope of the Oracle developer. To a developer, this means previously inaccessible reference information becomes available, even beyond individual objects. PITS recommends analyzing the application thoroughly before upgrading and removing dead code and rudiments that are no longer being used. To do this, all of the used code is tracked, analyzed, and eventually the dead code is removed. By average, PITSCON customers achieved a 20% reduction. That means a significantly more trimmed down application as a whole and ultimately reduced cost. Before the upgrade, PITSCON can identify redundant logic and so create the premise for bundling this logic, whereby the entire application is further reduced by an average 10%. Let's take a closer look at the possible issues surrounding forms upgrades and how to work with PITSCON. Upgrade challenges can be divided into four categories. These are as follows. Functions that are no longer supported by the web, functions with different methodologies, platform-specific functions, and functions that cause performance issues. Here are some of the functions which are no longer supported. Mouse events, which no longer exist in their familiar complexity. GIFs that can no longer be displayed and require conversion. Windows-specific VBX and ActiveX controls must be replaced by workarounds or renewed with Java Beans. Objects such as sound items or the image control, which have become obsolete, must be removed from the application. One example is replacing a client functionality, such as getFileName, with WebUtil, an Oracle standard library that enables you to work from an application server. New functionalities are the result of program transfers from the client environment to the application server. These functions are available, but their content needs to be adjusted to the new environment. For example, host, ORI FFI, or interaction with a local file system. Another example is the text I.O. that no longer conducts its operations from the client but from the application server. Platform-specific features also pose a possible challenge. They are caused by the operating system switch from Windows to the client on Linux or Unix on the server. This mechanism often applies both to the commonly used host command and to other, older client functions. When switching to Linux or Unix, attention must be paid to case sensitivity, which can be an issue throughout the entire application. Fonts must be adjusted to the new environment as well as to the new screen resolution. On the other side, the OLE container known under version 6i can often only be replaced by a Java component. This step may very possibly require manual action. The final migrational challenge may possibly be a function that leads to an increasingly overloaded network. Some of these functions are Synchronize for refreshing the interface, the timer for controlling the course, or the tabbed canvases, which each retrieve graphic information by turning the page on the server. The frequent, repetitive use of these commands can create so much network access, it may very well cause almost any network to break down. This is a case where one should analyze and identify the way in which these functions are used and, if necessary, replace them with the workarounds. That way you can operate the application from a new vantage point with the same level of performance as before. With PITSCON, you can manage each one of these required steps and save them in templates. These templates can be consolidated to complex projects as you wish. For the upgrade from Form 10G to 11G alone, PITSCOM provides over 200 predefined templates. Customers can individually tailor these templates according to their projects. PITSCON is able to precisely analyze forms with regard to the upgrade process, even those with several thousands of applications and within just a few hours. That way it can evaluate an upgrade from forms 10G to 11G. 
After the analysis and definition of the upgrade project, the forms application is run through all those templates that realize the implementation by ways of the search and replace functions in PITSCON. The result is a 100% automated implementation of customer-specific upgrade projects, which can be repeated and adjusted any time as necessary. In our illustration, we edited and implemented a full upgrade project client server to WebForms 11G of Pitscom, 527 forms programs, 78 menus, 28 PLSQL libraries, as well as 5 object libraries, and 321 reports. Obviously, there are special features just like with any other project. One of these is Oracle Graphics, which is no longer supported by the WebForms. This may require a few manual steps when dealing with a tool-supported migration. As soon as these manual steps as well as the application tests are completed, you once again have at your disposal an Oracle-supported forms application.